today, what I want to get going on is our opinion poll uh, write-up. So um, some of you guys are in, your groups are here. Some of you guys may, might only be one of your representatives here. Maybe most of your group's in the other section. Um, but uh, we'll go over that. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to get going on our collaboration. You guys are doing a group-based assessment. So we have our poll data that you guys submitted, right? I'm still um, just about done cleaning it up so it's ready for you guys to, to rock and roll. Um, but recall, you guys are interpreting one component of our opinion poll survey. So not the entire everything, all the questions and all the possible permutations, rather your specific uh, topic. Um, and so to do that, uh, you guys are working in groups. We're gonna, it's a two-parter thing. You guys are going to initially collaborate on a shared Google document that I have created a, a skeleton for you so the parts are all there. And then once you guys get that pretty solid in a good, good form, you're going to put that onto our um, collaborative web page. So you guys are going to eventually embed all the stuff and make it look uh, professional and all that, all that good stuff. Cool? So we're going to go over that today. And um, uh, the first step, though, is I'd like you guys to uh, morph. And, and, and so this is what I have as your groups. Again, I, I, I emailed this out so you guys can click on it to have the links. But um, this is what I have you guys as the groups. If somebody's missing or, or something got changed, we can update this. But that, that's uh, on our document what groups I have. So some of you, like Tara, are by her, herself and climate change. Um, is that correct? All right, okay, cool, it's all good. You don't care, you'll take it, you can do it. Um, everybody else, though, is in a group of uh, at least one other person, if not several other people, which is cool. Um, and I just want to point out that we have this uh, shared Google Drive. And so, right, we have our opinion poll. Within opinion poll, I have this other folder. If I, we jump out, right? So here, here's where we've been entering our data here. And if we click on this poll foci, um, and if we click on this one, this is essentially the same thing. And this is the stuff that you guys gave me several weeks ago now. And it's fine that you don't have to use this as your template, but this is just the notes, the sort of initial uh, sandbox thing that we messed around. So the stuff down here is the same version, same idea as this horizontal version. It's just in a different format. But so for example, the over harvesting folks thought they might use question nine, question 13, et cetera. So if you guys have not met last, if you didn't meet last week and you're still just knocking stuff around, this was your initial thoughts. You do not need to stick to this. You could add things, you could subtract things, what have you. Uh, but that's up there. Um, and then you'll notice what I've done is I have this uh, template right here. It says Coastal Opinion Write-Up uh, Template. And uh, almost everybody has someone in their group in the previous uh, section there's I think maybe maybe two of you two of your groups that doesn't exist uh, or that didn't exist um, but for everybody else uh, you guys have, your your sandbox has already been started so you if if you're a hundred percent of your group is in this lab section you guys haven't done that you'll have to do that and that you're simply just going to duplicate this document make a copy of it and name it whatever your group is pollutants energy whatever I just want to take a quick look at this if you guys have a look at this this is a template this is a Google Doc and much of this, not the images, you have to insert images, but, but the text and all that kind of stuff, you can pretty much just copy and paste into our web page when the time is ready. With our web pages, you'll see when we start to play with it, because it's a regular traditional website, multiple people cannot be editing it at once. So this is our space. You can have multiple, multiple people logged on simultaneously editing this document communally. And then when you get to a point you like, you can have one person designated to be the the uploader and the, and the paster in. Does that make sense? So let's have a look. So what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna do your write-up and it's gonna, this example just says oil, but it could be whatever your topics are. Um, the uh, black part here, the black text is the uh, requirement. And then the red is my guidance to you. Does that make sense? Can you guys see this? Should I make this bigger on the screen? Is it okay? Good? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna get a little teeny bit bigger. How about that? Okay. So first thing you guys are gonna when you when you start your thing, you're gonna say what your topic is, whatever the, whatever the name of your project is. And you're gonna put everybody's name in there, right? So whoever is your whoever comprises your group, your names will be there. Next, you're gonna have some image. 
some image that rep represents some aspect of your topic, right? You could have, and for all these things I'm gonna tell you, you can do more. You could have multiple images if you want, but this is, this is the minimum, right? So you have to have at least one picture. Uh, that picture has a caption. If you did not take that, that picture, you should have the reference or the source that that image came from in there, as with everything else that we do not create. Uh, this is going to be an introduction, a couple paragraphs, you know, broadly introducing us to this topic, whatever it is, pollution, oil, uh, uh, fragmentation, whatever. A little bit about the history background. And then you're going to go into uh, the, the overview of the current situation of whatever the, your topic is more locally. Here, California, here, Southern California, et cetera. Uh, two to three paragraphs. Um, and drilling down more. And then you're going to end with uh, one or several, depending on your group and what you're interested in, uh, core hypothesis or hypotheses. So we're curious to see if people really do support offshore oil drilling. Um, and so we, we did this survey to test uh, whether um, people actually understand how fragmented our coastal ecosystem is. Whatever, whatever those that hypotheses or hypotheses are should be spelled out. Cool. Next, you're going to tell me, um, you know, so we did this survey, right? A little, little basic uh, overview of the survey. So this is what we did. And we used these questions. So you're not going to say we use question 14, 8, and, and 22. Because again, this is for an audience that hasn't uh, necessarily taken your survey. So you're going to say we use these four questions. Those questions were, and you state the question and, 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 all likelihood probably the, the, the choice options that people had, right? So you're going to tell us what, what the, uh, the survey instrument was. And then you're going to go into results. Okay, so this is what I found. We found X. We found Y. Now, uh, you guys should um, uh, talk about the summary statistics, the basic stuff. We'll go over that in a second again with our survey. The basic stuff. So 70% of the people thought yes. 20% uh, thought no, and 10% and, uh, were unsure, something like that, right? So of course you should do that. You're probably going to want to also do some, some little more uh, detailed exploration, and we'll talk about some ways to do that in a second. So results, you can tell us what the results are. Know that the results are both telling us what you found and also presenting that in a quantitative form. So if the answer is simply 70, or if what you're trying to communicate is 70%, 30%, or that doesn't make sense, 70%, 20%, 10%, probably a table is the, right, is the right one for that, right? But if we start looking to say, hey, how did the men versus the women respond? How did the people from Santa Barbara versus Los Angeles County respond? Or what, however you want to slice and dice that, that puts, uh, puts us more into the um, probably a bar graphs type of, you know, using Plotly or something like that to, vi <coughs> to visualize the data, cool? But so you guys are going to have a quantitative plot, table, figure, that kind of thing, in addition to whatever you do in the text. Um, and then you guys can interpret. So what does this mean? So we had the, the, the layout of the situation, the instruments, what the, the raw data showed, and then you're going to interpret this. So this means, therefore, that the public is increasingly less likely to support offshore oil drilling, or whatever the case may be. And then uh, after we sort of talk about that, then you're going to give us some key takeaways. So after that, those few paragraphs, you're then going to summarize in just a couple sentences the main conclusion that you've, you've taken away about public attitudes or public understanding or public behavior around whatever your topic is. Make sense? Okay. Uh, remember that as with everything else, you're going to include your references, your citations. And so that should be listed at the end, but also um, since we haven't done online documents yet, uh, just to be clear, you guys should be using the power of the web, which is hyperlinks and embedding um, references, etc. So if up in here, so if I referenced uh, me in 2012, and, and somewhere up here I was typing an answer, right? Or, or I made the reference to that. Oh, I can't edit this because this version isn't editable. But so I would select that, push, push parentheses, Anderson, 2012, close parentheses, right, for the author year citation, 
return. And then I would go and select that text and put a hyperlink to wherever that paper is. So, so you're not just saying the reference and not just listing the reference at the end of the paper, you're gonna embed a link to that thing. So the question then comes up, hey, so what if this is a peer-reviewed paper, which it is very, really good if it was, and it should be. So okay, this peer-reviewed paper, okay, great, but I don't have a copy of it. Just put a link to the CSUCI library um, website thing. It's okay if you need a proprietary code, but, but, um, but that makes sense? Okay, so you guys are gonna um, get in your groups and you guys are gonna start to play with this, okay? But let me show you the last thing I wanna, uh, before we take a, a pause here and let you guys start to move around. This is our, our collaborative website. So all of you guys have been added as editors to this website. And uh, so you can all get in. But, but again, once we start editing, it's not like a Google Doc where everybody can be on at once. This is a traditional HTML website type of thing. So those of you that have had Capstone or are in Capstone, you'll recognize this as a WordPress site. Those of you that haven't, don't worry about it. It's just we can't all be on it at once. Those of you that do access your website through CI Keys, this is different. So I own this website. So you aren't the owner, you are just a user. So we're gonna, you're gonna access it, you're gonna get to it differently than, than you do through CI Keys. So I'll show you that in a second. But I just wanna first just orient you guys to this website. So here it is, here's the website. Um, a little bit about what we're doing. Here's the opinion poll. If I go right here, this little uh, menu right here just tells us about our, our survey instrument, how many surveys we've done over the years, that kind of thing, right? That's an about. But then if I hold that down, check it out, there's all these other things. Coastals uh, are major stressors. In this case, there's sub, the submenu of pollution, climate change, da, 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 energy, management, there's coastal erosion, sediment, da, 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 all these things you guys said you're interested in doing, right? So right now, for example, if I, if I was interested, if I, my group was the natural disasters and I clicked it, all I'm gonna see is some blank text. When we're done with assignment, you are gonna have added all of the text in there, right? So now we can all look at each other or once we get to that stage, we can all look at each other's stuff and, and, uh, and g talk about their insights, critique folks, give folks feedback. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay, cool. So to get to this website, uh, okay, sorry, th then the last thing, just to make sure that everybody is on, on the same page, before we leave today, I wanna make sure everybody's login works and you guys all know how to get there. Every once in a while something is weird. Um, and so if you look at this part right here, it says practice. If I click this page, this is just your practice spot. So if you have a look, people are, are adding stuff in here, adding things in here, okay? And so your instructions, uh, we have, again, we have to do this individually. So as we're gonna start working, you guys are gonna move into your groups in a second, but we'll start with Mr. Feeney over there. He'll start, and then when he's done, he'll pass it to Todd or whoever's next. And, we'll, and you guys just sort of turn to your next bud when you're done and tell them, hey, you can go now, and then that person can start to edit it, right? Because we can't have multiple people editing at once, so we're gonna do it serially. The purpose of this is just to make sure everybody can indeed log on and everybody is comfortable doing the, the most basic editing of this web page, okay? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna, once you get logged on, you're gonna come over to here, and it says right here, you're gonna type your name. So I started, here's Dr. Anderson, and then Juliet uh, did her next one, right? So type in your name, do the um, heading one, so make it be a, you know, essentially a larger text. Do heading one, and then you're going to, uh, and then to type sort of a blah, blah, blah sentence, just some text to make sure you can type text. Then you're gonna upload a picture and put a caption on there, and that's it. So it should take all of, doesn't matter what the caption is, doesn't matter what the picture is, don't make it obscene or something disgusting, or whatever, but you know, other than that, it's whatever is cool. This is just to make sure you guys can logistically do this. What I want you to do though, is when you go to insert that, your name, put it in alphabetical order. So when I'm done after today, I can go through and make sure everybody's, right? So if my last name was uh, between Mauricio and whoever, Ali, right? I would click in between and add it there. Cool? So the last bit is how do we get to this, or how do we log on to this website? If we jump back to our, if we jump back to the thing that I, I emailed you guys, all you guys, um, and we scroll part way down, here's this login. This is how you get to it. So our website is coastalwiki.pyrolab.org. 
and you're just going to do slash WP admin slash. And then when it says uh, log on, you want to log on with your uh, through the server, and it's going to say it's it's going to say, say you can put your name in or your email address. Just use your email address, your CSUCI email address, and then the password is the rest of the letters, and then 2018. And once you guys log, and then you should be logged on, should be good to go. And then if you're unfamiliar how to how to do the the, the editing, I can show you really quickly. But um, that's essentially the same thing you're going to do when you're ready to start pasting stuff into your, your, your page, your, your web page. You're going to edit. Um, and so, cool, sound good?